In today's video, I literally buy out the competition. What's going on YouTube? My name is Erval, and if you're brand new, welcome on this channel. We talk about reselling, side hustles, and theme page content. If you could kindly destroy that like button, as well as go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell, I'd really appreciate it. With that out of the way, let's get right into today's video. Now, the title isn't lying, guys. I actually went out and bought all the inventory from AEB Games. Now, behind me, this is all of, well, the first half of it, and then we have the second half of it. We've got about 100, and I'd say six games. Um, and then before I get into actually what I got and how much I paid for it and all that good stuff, uh, just to let you know, all this stuff is I split in half with Common Lad. So if you guys want to know what games you got as well as how much it's worth, make sure to go ahead and check out his video, which will be dropping on Monday. So let's go, make sure to go ahead and check out his channel. All his links are in the description. That out of the way, let me tell you guys how I managed to pull such a deal off. All right, so how did I manage to pull this off? Well, long story short, at a about Monday night, or I guess Tuesday morning, two in the morning, your boy got creative. So, if those of you who don't know, well, EB Games and GameStop, they closed down a bunch of their locations because, well, they're just not profitable enough to remain open during the uh, the pandemic. Because a lot of people are either buying stuff from eBay or just buying digital copies or just ordering off Best Buy. Therefore, therefore, stores such as EB Games or GameStop no longer necessarily require as many physical locations because people who are trying to buy video games are just buying everything online or at different stores which are more convenient so with that in mind I was like all right so they got a bunch of inventory I assume and well, what's going to happen with that so I did a little bit of research and it just so happened that they had a promotion which was a dollar fifty for all of their used PS3 and Xbox 360 games and well with the moment I saw that promotion it was game on. So the next morning, so well, not the next morning, the same morning uh, at Tuesday morning. So it was around 10. Your boy went up and I called my local EB Games. I'm like, hey, do you guys have the promotion? And they did. So I went ahead and I reserved everything. I'm like, all the games, put them on hold. I'll take them all. And then uh, I had to actually book an appointment. So I booked it for around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, went there. And then funny story, they bought a new massive container of games. Everything's loose, there's no cases, uh, but I'll get on to why it don't really matter. So I looked at them and the guy there, because I didn't talk to the guy on the phone, it was it was some lady, but he was super surprised when I said how much for everything, because uh, of course, who's going to go ahead and buy like 100 games from EB Games? It's a little bit absurd. But anyways, I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy everything. So he went ahead and actually started scanning. It took about 20 minutes to scan all these games and have them labeled up and whatnot. Uh, so after that, it came everything came out to a grand total of $156. And the, the people working there were absolutely laughing their heads off because I don't think they've ever experienced someone just coming in and spending so much on used games. And my favorite part of this is the massive receipt they gave me. Like, check out this receipt. It just keeps on going and going <laughs> and going. Like, I'm not even joking. I might have to stand up here, but guys, it just keeps on going and hopefully the lighting is allowing for you guys to see but yeah we're looking at a grand total of like i said a hundred and fifty six dollars and sixty sorry a hundred fifty six dollars and twenty four cents um for about a hundred and six games well because i paid for half and then common that paid for the other half i ended up paying seventy eight dollars and twelve cents for 53 games and how we split up the games was what well, we basically went ahead and we put them all without even looking at which games they there were in the pile. I had a quick scan before I bought them just to make sure that there was no like a bunch of EA titles and whatnot. And we just went left and right. So it was a bit of a draft lottery system. And well, with that, we uh, we split up the piles and I went ahead and actually did the math on my lot. But before I tell you guys how much everything is worth and how much money we racked up today, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what games we managed to secure. All right, now we have all the games. I'm gonna go ahead and just go through the loose copies before we get into these guys, because this is a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly go through everything and tell you if there's anything worth uh, any good money. So starting off, TV Superstars. This is about, you know, your typical, like below $3 game. Start the party, $3 game. DJ Hero 2, it's about a $5 loose. Dance Dance Universe, once again, $5. Time Crisis 4. This is quite, this is actually quite up there, about that, you know, six, seven dollar range. Uh, we got 
Chrome Hounds, five dollars. Uh, we got Kung Fu Panda, you know, four or five. Skyland the Giants for the PS3. Uh, I believe this isn't worth too much either, but we're talking about, you know, that four or five dollar range. We got uh, Dance Dance Universe 2 or Dance Dance Universe 1. What is it? Yeah, but Dance Dance Universe 3. This is about, you know, your like a five dollar game. Brink, this is another like three dollar game. Uh, we have Resistance 2, like five dollars. Child of Eden or Eden. Uh, not too much either, five bucks. You've already got five dollars. Um, Skylander Swap Force, yeah, nothing too crazy. And then we've got Resistance 2, another Skylander Giants. We got Sync Pop Hits, Dark Void, uh, DJ Rap Star, Mass Effect. Uh, wait, okay, well, this is Mass Effect 1. This is about like an eight dollar game. And we have two copies in here of Mass Effect 2. These are about like four dollars a piece, and we have Max Effect 3, which are about. I would say, you know, $4 a piece as well. Then we got DJ Hero. This is, you know, I believe like a $5 game. We have Dark Sector. We got Fighters on Cage. We have another copy of Dark Sector. And we have, you know, of course, my favorite game. Let me flip it right the right way. We have Connect Adventures and we have Connect Disneyland Adventures. So these are all loose. These are only the discs. We have quite a bit of duplicates. Nothing crazy in there. Then we have a bunch of these guys now. Why these are in like in pamphlets, as you guys can see, there is the, uh, the the cover art as well as the manual inside. I just don't have any cases, didn't have any cases either. But I actually managed to go ahead and secure some cases from Kamala. He actually gave these to me for free. So shout out to him for securing these. And these are just going to be for the more expensive games because we are we have a couple of games in here worth that, you know, around the 20 to $30 range. And uh, let's see if I remember which ones they were. Uh, this is, you know, around that $10 range if uh, we have a case for it. Brink, you know, another $5 game. I should probably start putting these in the right order. <laughs> Black Eyed Experience, nothing crazy. Sing Star, this is around that $10 range. Another copy of Brink, this is like a fourth copy. We have the original Rocksmith. Now, if I... Now, I'm actually going to make sure that this becomes a full, complete in box. Because we can get around that $25 to $30 range. We have Dance Dance Revolution. Once again, we're also talking around that twenty to thirty dollar range. Bioshock, nothing too crazy. Sit, Fit and Six. This is around ten dollars, surprisingly, or maybe a little bit more. I thought this would be a pretty poor game to find, but actually, it's worth a lot more than you think. Disneyland Sing It, uh, High School Musical Three, Rocksmith No Cables. This is just a loose copy of Rocksmith. We're probably gonna get around that, you know, I, I believe you like that, you know, eight, nine dollar range. Uh, we have another copy, but this one's for the Xbox 360, so it's worth a little bit less. Uh, so we're gonna be aiming for probably around eleven dollars. We have Fuse, we have da another copy of Dance Dance Revolution, so another like, you know, ten, sorry, and then we have like another, you know, I'd say around eh, twenty to twenty five dollars. Black Eyed Experience, Hip Hop Experience, DJ Hero. Uh, nothing too crazy, I believe. Hole in the wall. Pure. Then we have lips. We have another copy of Pure. Uh, by the way, these some of these do have the manuals in them. Just so it's just the manual in the game. So what we'll end up doing is just listening with the manual. So loose with manual. Probably ask for an extra like fifty cents to a dollar. What I was gonna ch just charge for the for the disc. Then we have Backyard Sports Rookie Rush. If I do a complete for this, we're talking around that $10 range. Then we have Dance Dance Revolution Universe. This has the manual and the disc. We're talking around that $10 range as well. And that is everything, ladies and gentlemen. That is all the games we managed to secure. It's a lot more money than it looks. Um, and that's why I'm going to reveal how much we made in total. I'm going to go ahead and pop up everything that we spent. Now, we spent, I believe... $78.12. I'm going to pop the, like I said, the right numbers in front of you. We made a total of, I believe, $360, $240. So as you guys can see, boom, big profits right there. Absolutely secure the bag with this lot. Once again, we're, we paid like $1.47 a game, $1.50 a game. And even with taxes, because some of these, we only paid like 99 cents, like this one. So um, yeah, like I said, easily triple their money here, um, as well as... You know, we managed to get a banger video. We also have another banger. We also have another video coming up. I'm going to be listing these games. Um, but in today's video, what we're going to do is actually go ahead 
and test these as well as figure out a way to organize them because um, some of these are PS3, some of these are Xboxes. We've got to figure out which games we want to do complete in box as well as we have to go ahead and uh, figure out what we're going to do with duplicates just because um, I believe some of the disc conditions might be a little bit different even though I'm pretty sure most of these are in good condition. But anyways, enough of me talking. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get testing. All right, so I went ahead, separated the PS3 with the Xbox stuff. We're gonna go ahead and shop with the PS3 just because there's less games to test. Uh, we got the PS3 hooked up. We got a controller hooked up. Gonna go ahead, test everything, and then uh, if there's any problems, I'll let you guys know. Guys, testing the last PS3 game here. Uh, all of these guys are done. Perfect condition, no problems. All the games work perfectly fine. Gonna go ahead and hook up the Xbox. For those of you who don't know how I test these games, by the way, I simply go ahead and make sure that the console recognizes it. Um, I don't download them, I don't play them through, I don't have enough time. As long as it recognizes it, it's all good. So yeah, like I said, gonna go ahead and hook up the Xbox One, make sure that all of these games are good. And then once all that's done, we got a little bit more work to do and we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. All right, so I went ahead and I tested all the games. All the 360 games work except for one. Had some pretty deep scratches, but anyways, that's honestly a pretty good rate for just some loose games for that eBay had, so that EB Games had. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and take it. I went ahead and actually packaged up the games that well that needed to be uh, in case because they're worth a little bit more money. Uh, and so there we go. By the way, this is a $19 game, not a $20 game. I, I pulled up the sheet as well as these are also around that $18 range, not $20 to $25. But even with that being said, you know, we're still making a little bit of money on them. Actually, a lot more money on them because I only paid, like I said, $1.47 a game, which is insanely, insanely low. Uh, you can't beat that price on eBay. Uh, I mean, at least I haven't found anything that cheap on eBay um, ever. So, yeah. Uh, I went ahead and also put all of the loose games that were in bags in their own uh, case thing over here, their own sleeve. So, therefore, when we ship them, it's going to be a lot easier. And when you and when I do ship these loose games, I just wanna I just go ahead and I put a piece of cardboard on each side just so the game won't have any Jurassic bends or anything crazy like that. Um, otherwise, if it is worth a little bit more money, like these games over here, I will go ahead. I will find a case. I will make sure that you know it is well protected. But these aren't worth too much. These are worth max five dollars. Either way, we're like you know tripling our money <laughs> on all these games. So yeah, let's go ahead outro the video. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want it to run on too long. Yeah, and that's basically gonna end it for now, guys. Um, I know I'm gonna be, I haven't listened to any of these games, and that's actually because in next video, which, so the video coming out on Wednesday, I'm gonna be doing a challenge, seeing if I can list all these games in under five hours. It's about 50 games, and usually these take around, like, I'd say, you know, 10 minutes a piece. So if my math is right, we should be able to do it. But yeah, these are all gonna be listed in next week's video. I just wanna go ahead and see if I can do some sort of challenge there and uh, pump out a little bit more content out of these. Yeah, other than that, you know, if there's anything to take away from this video, it's that, you know, thinking outside of the box it does pay off, literally. This was, yeah, I could have just never done this. I could have just said, you know what, it's not worth my time. But good thing I called eBay and uh, got a little bit lucky because I had these games and apparently the other ones that Comlad called, the other ones at least around Toronto, were, uh, they were out of stock or most of, at least they said most of the stuff they had wasn't worth anything too crazy. Uh, and I managed to hit up the last one with apparently some pretty good stuff as you guys saw. Uh, and well, yeah, I guess you know what? Uh, when we're paying a, when we're paying like literally a dollar forty-seven per game, we literally Uno reversed EB Games <laughs> because well, for those of you who don't know the meme, where basically every time you go ahead and you uh, you try to you know turn in your games and give you money, they don't give you anything. Well, in this case, you know what? I ain't give them anything either. If he wanted twenty-five, he didn't get it. He didn't get it, and then he wanted 15, and he didn't get that either, baby. We don't take L's uh, for all the doubters. Everybody want to know what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. This is number one champion sound. Yeah, I don't know. I just had to throw that in. You know what? It is what it is. If you guys enjoy this type of content, let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know if there's any sort of other video ideas you guys want me to do. Uh, we're going to be in lockdown for quite a while, so I don't think we'll be able to hit up Value Village until, I'd say, maybe even April. It's looking like that right now, so we're in a little bit of trouble because, you know, I don't want to keep buying lots. Well, I'm going to keep buying lots, but I can only 
do this so much for YouTube without it being way too repetitive. So if you guys have any sort of online, you know what businesses you guys want me to try out, let me know down in the comments. I'll take a look at what you guys suggest and I will decide if it's uh, if it's worth the time and if it's worth the money to take a crack at it. Otherwise, make sure you go ahead, subscribe, hit the notification bell, go ahead and uh, like this video if you haven't already. I think I already said that. Comment, like I said, any video ideas and let me know if you guys are enjoying these type of videos where I go ahead. I show you some of the more behind the scenes stuff as well as I go ahead and I show you what I pick up. Well, I think I'm gonna keep showing you that either way, just because these videos are definitely the ones I enjoy recording more. They're definitely a lot easier to edit as well because uh, there's not a lot of cutting back and forth that I gotta deal with. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. That's it for now. Peace out.